So we'll start out with the two clips here I have on the edit page. I've got my green screen clip and a background clip. And the third one you see is an adjustment clip. If I turn that on and off by using the D key, you'll see that's where the effect actually takes place. Then I added a few additional effects here just for some, uh, just to kind of drive the point home and then added a little bit of a sound design here at the bottom. Again, just to kind of really bring the uh, effect to light. But really what we're doing is we're taking the green screen off of this clip here. You can do that on the left side under open effects and filters. You're gonna go here to 3D keyer, you drag and drop that onto your clip. And then in the top right under effects, this is how you're going to adjust and change the clip. Click on this, click on the plus, move it around here, and you can start to get a pretty good key. I'll make a video on that another time. But that's how you get the green screen off. And the second effect here, the changing of the colors, you go down here into your color page, and you wanna make sure that you have the adjustment clip selected instead. The reason I'm messing with the adjustment clip is so that when I'm doing the color correcting on this video, it'll correct both of the underlying videos, the background and the green screen. And then secondly, if I make any mistakes or I mess up in some way, I wanna make sure that those errors are on the adjustment clip, not on the actual clip themselves makes it much harder to go back and uh, kind of readjust. So that's why I'm using an adjustment clip. Go up here to the top. I like to also add a second node here to do all my effects. You click on this node. And then in the bottom left, we're gonna find the color wheels. Here's a temperature section. And then what I did is I played around with the temperature spot and you can see how it correlates to the keyframes over here on the right. So I found the spot in the video of where I wanted the effect to change. And once I found it, I would slightly move the temperature here to make sure it's a keyframe gets saved. And then I would move over here to the next one and change it a bit more. And again over here, and then as it gets to these keyframes, you'll notice it kind of fades in and fades out. And so that way I can also uh, plan and control how that fade takes place as well. But this is how you make the color change effect in DaVinci Resolve. Use the color page and you go over here to the temperature section and you play with that and create some keyframes off to the right. Thank you for watching all the way to the end. I do appreciate everybody who does watch. Uh, this is fun to watch this channel grow and actually see kind of who and where the viewers are coming from. So thank you so much. Uh, good to see you. We'll see you next time.